You know, when I uh, arrived in Lebanon Valley at the college and in the, on the campus and in my dorm, I remember looking out over the valley from my dorm room in the old Crater Hall that no longer exists. And if you would have told me then when I was looking out that 44 years later I'd be the governor of Pennsylvania, uh, the common question then would have been, what are you smoking? <laughs> It was not something that I was looking to do back in those days, and in fact, you all know, we've talked about this before, I've been here before, that it only came about as a result of the re-election of 2008 as Attorney General, um, and looking at the problems that we have uh, before us. But it's always nice to come back here and say, you know, we have roots here. My wife and I, we got married and we lived in Lebanon uh, for the first uh, eight months of our marriage, nine months before we... Uh, moved to Texas to go to law school, and then they came back uh, to Western Pennsylvania. And it's always good to appear before a group like you who understand what a budget is all about. Business people, by their very nature and profession, have to live by budgets. So I figure uh, that you understand the size of the number that I'm about to talk about. When I became governor, I knew what I was getting into, contrary to what some people thought. I knew what I was getting into, that we have a hole in our budget. We have an overspend. Our hole is $4.2 billion. Now, would you just think about that number for a second? Um, I took office, $4.2 billion in deficit. Uh, we had to write a budget. We had to figure out how we were going to cut or find 4.2, how we were going to bring that deficit back up to match the revenues, or actually down. Now, there are, certainly are a lot of people out there that say we should just raise taxes. Those are the people who say raise taxes and just don't understand the simple law of economics. Just because you have checks left in the checkbook doesn't mean you have money in the banking account. We have a lot of checks in our checkbook. We just don't have money in the banking account. Now, we're not the Federal Reserve. We can't just print more money like they do in Washington. You know, I've been looking for that printing machine in Harrisburg. I haven't found it yet. That's a good thing, because the more they print in Washington, the deeper and deeper and deeper we're going into debt. If, I want to use this number with you. If we did have that printing press, and we printed a dollar and spit it out every second, it would take us 125 years to reach four billion. About that number. 125 years, every second, spitting out a dollar to reach four billion. That gives you an idea of <coughs> the size of the deficit. That's how bad it is. Let me put it another way. Anybody know who's on a thousand dollar bill? It's Grover Cleveland, 22nd president of the United States, also the 24th. He took a hiatus for one term. If you stacked four billion dollars of these thousand dollar bills, not hundred, not ones, not tens, twenties, whatever. Four billion dollars stacked at a thousand dollars a bill. It would go up 250 miles into the sky, into outer space.